I'm gonna list the 20 types of places serving food and drinks in Palermo and I recommend taking notes on what I'm gonna say if you don't wanna go crazy in this town. You will see that we have specific places for specific kinds of food. And if you wanna have an authentic experience and eat the way we locals do, you need to know all these differences and head to the right place according to what kind of food you wanna eat. Number one, ristorante. Ristorante means restaurant and it is the general word we use for fine dining restaurants that have somebody cooking who is worthy to be called a chef. They provide waiter service and prices vary depending on the restaurant's concept. Number two, Trattoria. Trattoria is a small family-run restaurant with a casual and informal atmosphere. They usually serve homemade and traditional food at reasonable prices. They always provide table service and they are open for both lunch and dinner. Number three, Rosticceria. Rosticceria are small establishments that sell our traditional pezzo di rosticceria, arancina and sometimes also pizza by the slice. They don't usually provide table service but they are super cheap and are open all day. Number four, Frigitoria. These are little kiosks or establishments that exclusively sell traditional Sicilian fried foods such as panelle, croquet and vegetables in batter. They rarely offer table service, but they are very affordable and are open all day. Number five, Polleria. Polleria is a place that sells rotisserie chicken as well as fried and baked potatoes. Generally, they only offer takeout, but some might have tables so you can eat there. Most of them are open only in the evening and they are rather cheap. Number six, panineria. These are casual eateries that specialize in grilled sandwiches. They usually provide table service in a very informal atmosphere. They are also very inexpensive and are open for lunch and dinner. Number seven, taverna. In the past, these were shabby bars serving house wine and awful food. They were generally frequented by a vulgar and incontinent clientele. Today, by taverna, we are referring to trendy trattorias in a rustic style, but still you might run into some old school tavernas in certain Palermo neighborhoods. Number eight, pizza al taglio. These are cheap and informal pizza shops that sell exclusively pizza by the slice and are open throughout the day. They usually don't provide table service but often you can help yourself and eat on these tall metal tables they might have. Number nine, panificio. Panificio are inexpensive bakeries that sell fresh baked bread. They also sell many other items such as biscuits, brioche, pizza by the slice, pezzo di rosticceria, arancina, pastries, the list is endless. They mostly offer takeout but many people grab a quick lunch here while taking a break from their work. Number 10, Agriturismo. An agriturismo is a farm that provides rather informal accommodations, but especially high quality food. They serve traditional grandma recipes made with ingredients often produced at the farms themselves. Number 11, Pizzeria. Pizzerias are the classic pizza restaurants we all know with table service. Prices range from very cheap to highly expensive, depending on how cool and fancy they are, basically. Number 12, Enoteca. Enoteca is a rustic wine bar or wine shop where you can sit and drink wine and possibly grab a bite to accompany your drink. Or you can also buy some good bottles of wine and leave. Number 13, Gelateria. A gelateria is an ice cream shop where they make artisanal ice cream. They might have some tables, but they rarely provide table service. In general, ice cream shops are 
pretty cheap anywhere in Sicily. Number 14, pasticceria. These are pastry shops where you can buy fresh and artisanal Sicilian pastries and cakes of every kind. Sometimes they have tables where you can consume these delicacies along with some coffee but they rarely provide table service. Number 15, bar. It might sound weird, but for us a bar is a cafe where you can eat your breakfast or lunch. They are cheap, unless it's a fancy bar, and most of them have tables, but you don't always find waiter service. Number 16, pub. For us, a pub is basically a night bar that serves drinks, whether it's outdoors, indoors, shabby, fancy, with or without tables. If it is open at night and serves alcohol, then we call it a pub. Number 17, Lido. Lidos are a type of tiki hut on the seaside and they are open only in the summer. They serve crappy ready-made food at high prices and rent out lounges and umbrellas during the day. At night many of them turn into cool bars with DJs playing music. 18. Lapino. By the word Lapino we refer to these Three wheels, the vehicles equipped with facilities for cooking and selling food. You can find them anywhere in town and they mainly sell cheap and delicious street food. Number 19, kiosco. Kiosco means kiosk and they are pretty much anywhere and they sell anything and everything. We have sandwich kiosks, coffee kiosks, street food kiosks, junk food kiosks, and so forth. They are usually pretty affordable and they might have some tables. Number 20, spaghetteria. Spaghetteria literally means spaghetti restaurant, but they have all kinds of pasta recipes. They are usually pretty informal and cheap and they provide table service. Some of them are open even through the night. That's it if you want to know the best places where we Sicilians eat and the best traditional dishes you cannot miss Take a look at my guide, The Sicilian Way. It will turn you into a real Sicilian. Ciao.